Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. High speed trains crossing and overtaking perfectly. High speed rail, HSR, is a type of rail system that runs significantly faster than traditional rail, using an integrated system of specialized rolling stock and dedicated tracks. While there is no single standard that applies worldwide, Lines built to handle speeds above 250 km per hour, 155 miles per hour, or upgraded lines in excess of 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour, are widely considered to be high speed. The first high speed rail system, the Tokaido Shinkansen, began operations in Japan in 1964 and was widely known as the Bullet Train. High-speed trains mostly operate on standard gauge tracks of continuously welded rail on grade-separated rights-of-way with large radii. However, certain regions with wider legacy railways, including Russia and Uzbekistan, have sought to develop a high-speed railway network in Russian gauge. There are no narrow-gauge high-speed trains. The fastest is the Cape Gauge Spirit of Queensland at 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour. High-speed rail is the fastest and most efficient ground-based method of commercial transportation, however, due to requirements for large track curves, gentle gradients, and grade-separated track, the construction of high-speed rail is more costly than conventional rail, and therefore does not always present an economical advantage over conventional speed rail. China currently accounts for over two-thirds of the world's total high-speed rail, with over 37,900 kilometers. 23,500 miles of high-speed rail on its networks. 1. German High-Speed Network On 15 May 1933, the Deutsche Reichsbahn Gesellschaft Company introduced the diesel-powered Fliegender Hamburger in regular service between Hamburg and Berlin, 286 kilometers or 178 miles, thereby achieving a new top speed for a regular service with a top speed of 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour. This train was a streamlined, multi-powered unit, albeit diesel, and used Jacobs bogies. Following the success of the Hamburg line, the steam-powered Henschel Wegman train was developed and introduced in June 1936 for service from Berlin to Dresden, with a regular top speed of 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour. Incidentally, no train service since the cancellation of this express train in 1939 has traveled between the two cities in a faster time as of 2018. In August 2019, the travel time between Dresden Neustadt and Berlin Stud Cruise was 102 minutes. See Berlin Dresden Railway. Further development allowed the usage of these Fliegenden Zuge flying trains on a rail network across Germany. The Diesel Schnelltriebwe Genetz, Diesel High Speed Vehicle Network, had been in planning since 1934, but it never reached its envisaged size. 2. American Streamliners On 26 May 1934, one year after Fliegender Hamburger introduction, the Burlington Railroad set an average speed record on long distances with their new streamline train, the Zephyr, at 124 km per hour. 77 miles per hour, with peaks at 185 kilometers per hour, 115 miles per hour. The Zephyr was made of stainless steel, and like the Fliegender Hamburger, was diesel powered, articulated with Jacobs bogies, and could reach 160 kilometers per hour, 99 miles per hour, as commercial speed. The new service was inaugurated on 11 November 1934 traveling between Kansas City and Lincoln, but at a lower speed than the record, an average speed of 74 km per hour, 46 miles per hour. In 1935, Milwaukee Road introduced the Morning Hiawatha service, hauled at 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour, by steam locomotives. In 1939, the largest railroad in the world, the Pennsylvania Railroad introduced a duplex steam engine class S1 which was designed to be capable of hauling 1,200 tons of passenger trains at 161 km per hour, 100 miles per hour. 3. Italian Electric and the Last Steam Record 
The German high-speed service was followed in Italy in 1938 with an electric multiple unit ETR 200, designed for 200 km per hour, 120 miles per hour, between Bologna and Naples. It too reached 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour, in commercial service and achieved the world mean speed record of 203 km per hour, 126 miles per hour, between Florence and Milan in 1938. In Great Britain in the same year, the streamlined steam locomotive Mallard achieved the official world speed record for steam locomotives at 202.58 km per hour, 125.88 miles per hour. The external combustion engines and boilers on steam locomotives were large, heavy, and time and labor intensive to maintain, and the days of steam for high speed were numbered. 4. Japanese Research and Development With some 45 million people living in the densely populated Tokyo Osaka corridor, congestion on road and rail became a serious problem after World War II, and the Japanese government began thinking seriously about a new high-speed rail service. Japan in the 1950s was a populous, resource-limited nation that for security reasons did not want to import petroleum but needed a way to transport its millions of people in and between cities. Japanese National Railways JNR engineers then began to study the development of a high-speed regular mass transit service. In 1955, they were present at Lille's Electrotechnology Congress in France, and during a six-month visit, the head engineer of JNR accompanied the deputy director Marcel Tessier at the DET, Sensive Electric Traction Study Department. GNR engineers returned to Japan with a number of ideas and technologies they would use on their future trains, including alternating current for rail traction and international standard gauge. 5. U.S. Metro Liner Trains In the United States, following the creation of Japan's first high-speed Shinkansen, President Lyndon B. Johnson, as part of his Great Society Infrastructure Building Initiatives, asked Congress to devise a way to increase speeds on the railroads. Congress delivered the High Speed Ground Transportation Act of 1965, which passed with overwhelming bipartisan support and helped to create regular Metro Liner service between New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. The new service was inaugurated in 1969 with top speeds of 200 km per hour, 120 miles per hour, and averaging 145 km per hour, 90 miles per hour, along the route with the travel time as little as 2 hours 30 minutes. In a 1967 competition with a GE-powered Metro Liner on Penn Central's mainline, the United Aircraft Corporation turbotrain set a record of 275 km per hour, 171 miles per hour. 6. Spain In 1992, just in time for the Barcelona Olympic Games and Seville Expo 92, the Madrid-Seville high-speed rail line opened in Spain with 25 kV AC electrification and standard gauge, differing from all other Spanish lines which used Iberian gauge. This allowed the AVE rail service to begin operations using Class 100 trainsets built by Alstom, directly derived in design from the French TGV trains. The service was very popular and development continued on high-speed rail in Spain. In 2005, the Spanish government announced an ambitious plan, PEIT 2005 to 2020, envisioning that by 2020, 90% of the population would live within 50 kilometers, 30 miles, of a station served by AVE. 7. Chinese CRH and CR High-speed rail was introduced to China in 2003 with the Qinhuangdao Shenyang High-Speed Railway. The Chinese government made high-speed rail construction a cornerstone of its economic stimulus program. In order to combat the effects of the 2008 global financial crisis, and the result has been a rapid development of the Chinese rail system into the world's most extensive high-speed rail network. By 2013, the system had 11,028 kilometers, 6,852 miles of the operational track, accounting for about half of the world's total at the time. By the end of 2018, the total high-speed railway, HSR, 
and China had risen to over 29,000 kilometers, 18,000 miles. Over 1,713 billion trips were made in 2017, more than half of China's total railway passenger delivery, making it the world's busiest network. 8. South Korean KTX Construction began on the high-speed line from Seoul to Busan in 1992 with the first commercial service launching in 2004. The top speed for trains in regular service is currently 305 km per hour, 190 miles per hour, though the infrastructure is designed for 350 km per hour, 220 miles per hour. The initial rolling stock was based on Alstom's TGV Rousseau and was partly built in Korea. The domestically developed HSR 350X, which achieved 352.4 km per hour, 219.0 miles per hour in tests resulted in the second type of high-speed train now operated by Corail, the KTX Sanchion. The next generation KTX train, HEMU 430X, achieved 421.4 km per hour, 261.8 miles per hour in 2013, making South Korea the world's fourth country after France, Japan, and China to develop a high-speed train running on the conventional rail above 420 km per hour, 260 miles per hour. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.